Now let me explain you this. I can use both, but I had to use one. Okay, here is the, this half circle is the number, the day zero. The day zero is when the Pleiades, the sun and the earth are joined together. And that's the 20th of May. Here in the middle, we have an eclipse, uh, an annular eclipse, a partial eclipse of the sun. And this is gonna happen exactly the 20th of May, 2012. And then we have the number 16 in here. 16 days later, after the eclipse, is gonna be the transit of Venus in, in front of the sun. Now we have four times 13. Four times 13 is 52. 52 is the new fire. Every 52 years, the sacred calendar and the, and the solar calendar go to the same day, to the same start. That means that this is related to the new, to the new fire, the new eras that they celebrate every, every 52 years. And also we have here the number 20. 20 and there were 13 months of 20 days in the sulking. All this proves that this is the sulking calendar. And we have these dates, the 20th of May, and we have also the, the 6th of June. We have two weeks. I don't know what it means, but we have to remember. And again, as I said, this is more or less saying it's going to be the return of Quetzalcoatl, of Kukulkan, of the Messiah, something important. I don't know if it's related because both of them are so close together. Both of them appear. And this is the eclipse of May the, 12, of May the 20, 2012. It's going to be seen here, United States and Mexico too. Also in half of the world. 